Good morning guys, what's going on? This is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA, out for a drive this morning. Actually, I'm going to check my mail, I think, if there's any mail. But anyway, this will be a fun video, one of the ones I enjoy doing. Some of y'all like these driving videos, and I like doing them because it gives me a chance to just let my mind wander free on different topics. And I'm wandering free this morning on a thing called <clears throat> Artificial Intelligence or Machine Learning. And uh, I've read a, quite a bit about it, even though I don't understand a lot of it, because there's, there's deep learning and there's different levels and there's all kind of things going on today at the same time. <clears throat> Basically, corporations are using it to try to maximize profits and eliminate white-collar workers and let the algorithms do the thinking and the planning and, in some cases, even the decision-making. Well, if you move that forward, and, and, and there's speculation as to how long this is going to take, some of, some of them say 10 years, some 20, some 50 you know, some even more than that, when we'll reach a point where learning algorithms, mathematical formulas, will surpass the ability of the human brain. In other words, the, co the computer basically will be able to learn more and faster than the human brain. And <clears throat> That will certainly be a milestone in the history of mankind because to this point, we are the smartest things on this planet. <clears throat> and what's happening through our greed and other things, just our natural progression, our evolution, we are creating something that is gonna be more intelligent and able to learn faster than we are and it will not have any emotions it may or may not have the same goals and desires that we do and that mismatch is where problems will arise and how do you guard against that there's a lot of talk about ways that might be possible to avoid calamities I guess you'd say with AI or artificial intelligence but I see it coming uh, when I don't know you know there's that you know a smartphone is basically a form of artificial intelligence and it's getting better and better and better every day in every every way I mean of course as all of you know you know you can ask Google questions and get answers same way on Apple Siri or whatever they call it you can have the little device in your home that monitors your thermostat and your whatever you want it to monitor, basically. And, then you, of course, then they've got the uh, uh, languages, the, the uh, translator, Google Translate, that you can use if you're traveling in foreign countries to translate menus, uh, billboards, store signs, etc. And uh, so all of that is... A, is, is artificial intelligence you, you, you certainly don't possess it you're using your smartphone as an extension of your brain and that's pretty much what AI really is only it's a it is an independent extension of your brain that can learn on its own just like we learn as we're growing up from a two-year-old child forward we learn by trial and error in most cases, in some cases, we're taught. Well, the AI that we're going to be faced with is doing the same thing, only it's doing it at light speed or very, very, very fast. The thing that keeps it from happening sooner is it, it's very much contingent upon hardware capabilities. In other words, as, there, as hardware speeds, storage capacities double, and increase 
then that enables more artificial intelligence capacities and expansion. And, you know, how fast that's going to occur, I don't know. No one knows. But it's going to happen. What we're, what's, in my opinion, what's happening is, even though I don't know that every people are conscious of it, because sometimes in a forest you can't see the trees, so if you're an engineer and you're working in this field, what you see is how it's going to benefit humanity through medical breakthroughs, disease eradication, uh, life extension through being able to replace basically every human component or human part and that's what you see and that's good and then a lot of that is going to be great for humanity and as far as jobs we'll just be a world of leisure so to speak almost until the, the AI realizes that uh, it doesn't need us and that, that, that will occur you know, and what happens then? Well, I, I just see humans being moved out of the equation. We'll be just another species that goes extinct. And the universe will be, begin to be populated with AI uh, because they're not worried about uh, speeds of spaceships and diseases and stuff like that. Uh, you know, robots aren't concerned about that. They're also probably not bothered much by exposure to high levels of radiation. Now, that could be, but uh, I don't know. And as far as, you know, they don't need to breathe, they don't need near as much oxygen as we do, or if any. But anyway, they've got a lot of capabilities that we do not have. And having said that, this is Kingsland, Texas, USA. July the 26th, 2016. What will this look like 50 years from now? That is a damn good question. I won't be here. But somebody, I don't know, will humans still be here? I, man, it's hard to say. I think we could just be right on the verge of putting ourselves out of business because greed will, will destroy us. Because one corporation is not going to let another corporation get ahead of them in this field. So they're working very hard to stay in the front. The military, different militaries in the world don't want to get behind because that would leave their country exposed to uh, losing a war or whatever. And uh, so what you see is this race by different groups to go off the cliff. <laughs> really. And our politicians, particularly in the U.S., are elected for sh such short periods of time that these long-term problems like this that require uh, a little more long-range planning, that long-range planning will not get done. And the reason is is because the politicians are, are running for re-election the day after they're, they're elected. And you can't really blame them because if that's going to be your career, then it's, your, it's incumbent upon you to get re-elected. So what we need to do is either increase terms or, you know, in other words, say, okay, you're elected for one six-year term or whatever you want to say, and that's it. Uh, or we need to have leaders that are put in place for much longer periods of time. Now, we do have that now, but it's by pure accident. You know, these, some of these people, senators and, and representatives, have been up there for 30 years or more. And, uh, but that's not by design. That's by gaining power and, and holding on to it. But anyway, I'm at the post office in Kingsland, Texas now, and I am going to go in and check my mail. But for those of you that have any interest in this coming event where we replace ourselves with some new intelligence that is smarter than us for the first time ever, uh, you know, if you believe in Darwin's theory of evolution, then I do. I mean, I see how it could work very clearly. Then... This is just another step in the evolutionary process, and we'll just be one of those species that went extinct. Fortunately, I will probably get to live out my lifetime reasonably normally, and so will most of you that are 
watching this video, but uh, later on, uh, there will come a point where humans may not be necessary. <laughs> so anyway, having said that, guys, enjoy your day. I'll enjoy mine. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy USA made when you can. Drink plenty of water. A gallon a day will not hurt you. It'll help you avoid gout and kidney stones. All, and it also help you lose weight because when your body feels full, you don't want to snack. And when you don't snack, you don't gain weight. But anyway, take deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth several times a day. Why? Because that relieves stress and it'll also lower your blood pressure. And that's good for you. Your heart doesn't have to work so hard. Then stretch, walk, keep your body in motion as much as you can during the day. And eat less. That's all I can tell you, folks. And it's hard to do. I know I... Uh, I've got my weight down. I got my weight down to my target weight of 165 here a few months ago, and I went on a trip uh, camping for off and on for seven weeks, and I picked up five pounds somewhere out there on the road, and now I'm trying to get back to that 165, and it's uh, it's slow because you know old habits are hard to break. But the whole thing is you can't exercise it off. You can't. You got to just eat less. So anyway, guys, adios. Bye bye.